Did you come here to make something as cool as this? Then you've come to the right place. Because today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your Minecraft guy in the Weed Lions rig in different poses. If you don't know how to do that. Because most people do, but I guess you don't. But that's okay. Because I'm going to teach you. Soon you will know. So, let's go. I'm going to open up the rig and to number holiday. And then we are going to do this. Okay. So, you open the, up the rig. And it should be a Steve. Or whatever. And uh, I'm not going to put my skin in this for this. Just because, you know, I don't really care. So, how are you going to do this? Okay. So, there's many, many ways to do this. The easiest way is to click this little button up here. You see this? This little person-like thing. Visu uh, visual selector. It's a tag. And then uh, it'll pop up down here. If you want to double click it, it'll get big. Uh, it'll turn into a thing that you can just move around. So, these show you all the different parts of your guy. You can click on any one of them to move them. So, let's just click the head. Uh, and it will automatically bring us to the rotate tool because you don't really want to move the head anywhere out of the body. So yeah, we're moving the head with the rotate tool right here and you know, just clicking on all the axes, the red axis and the green axis and the blue axis. <laughs> ah, yes. So, let's just put him in a nice little place. Okay, uh, we also have the front of him, which like makes him kind of like do that or this. Uh, the middle allows you to like bend him in a way like if 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 he was like crouching or something. So like if he's bending over to look at something, or if he's trying to break his back. Uh, the this part it just you know allows you to do that from his legs. His hands will uh will start you on this tool the move tool, and you can just uh yeah move it all over the place. So since this is Cinema 4D and not Minimator or whatever, uh, it will bend uh, automatically. With Minimator, it will not do that. Mine, if you're wondering what that is, it's a very easy to do uh, software. And um, for the other arm, we're just going to go and we're going to show you another way. You click on this little thing. You don't click on the hand. You click on that little white outline. It's, it's, um, it's green now, but when it turns white, click it. And you can just move that around as you please. I'm just going to do it like that. Make it look cool a little bit. Like a little fighting pose kind of thing. Let me just do that with him. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's just go back to this guy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this. And uh, we should be able to move it. There you go. So we're just going to give him a nice little like bend and like that do the same thing for this guy on the other side you should probably keep this open in another window up here that way you know you could easily just access it and we're gonna go to this leg and push it bend it a little bring it like that okay and now you got your uh, your nice bend in the back as you can see he's kind of like floating I am like floating in the air and his face looks like What's going on? So what's going on, guys? I, I have no idea what's going on. Let me just bend him a little, because bending him looks cool. And then put his head up a little. And now it looks good. But his, his, his face, it's just like, what? What? Why did you bring me here? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to click on him. And we're going to see these panels. Uh, this panel is for, like, the eyes and the eyebrows. So if you, uh move around with this you will move the pupils uh, if you want to just put them really far apart you could move with this little thingy here I like to keep them at like you know maybe point one or zero that way they're kind of like the same so if I want to look that way he looks that way like that yeah so I'm just gonna have him looking that way okay and then we're going to move the eyebrows a little just by pl uh, messing with the controls put it close put it close and then we're just gonna make it a nice little evil look. Like, I'm ready to fight, bro. And then, uh, down here, the second panel, you got the mouth. You can make it longer. And fatter. Up, oh, it glitches out if it gets too fat. It gets too fat. So, yeah, I'm just gonna make it like this. And make his mouth a little more sane. And now he looks good. He looks good, right? Yeah, I think he looks good. 
He looks totally good. He looks completely fine. So yeah. That was how you move your character with the weed lion, uh, weed lions rig. And, uh, yeah. So, if you liked this video, and it helped you, then definitely leave a like right there. And, uh, I'm gonna need some light. Uh, yeah, that's one thing with the rendering. You're gonna need some light in there, because, you know, you always want light. That way there's shadows. There you go. Nice little shadow thing. Put it up here. Make it dark up there? No, yeah. Okay, so let's just go like this. And let's see what it looks like at the end. So if you like this video, then uh, definitely leave a like. And if it helped you, then definitely, uh, again, leave a like. And uh, definitely subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on this. I definitely will be doing this because I really like this and I don't see a lot of tutorials out. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep making tutorials for this. And uh, yeah, so definitely remember to comment and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. That's pretty good.